from chennai tonight dr alka pandey author and independent curator namita devidyal senior journalist is joining us from mumbai siddharth changvi well known author is right joining us from from mumbai as well so hail said managing partner of council edge is joining us well known columnist is joining us from delhi dr s q elias is general secretary welfare party of india from delhi my first question is to shahid siddiqui who is uh, the editor of nai duniya says he's not on the channel tonight in his capacity as a politician but as someone who's been opposing rajdi since 1996 or even before that question to you sir mr siddiqui is this do you worry does it give you nightmares are you scared mr siddiqui that 500 or 1000 people who may come on the streets and oppose mr rajdi may one day if this continues have to face 20 times that many 100 times that many people who will come out on the streets and say you cannot walk all over my freedom of expression anymore you cannot scare us anymore you cannot force us to accept what you have forced us to accept so far anymore do you fear that the tide will turn against you shahid siddiqui you made a wonder, wonderful speech arnab a question sir the parliament the the, the 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 thing is that i have my freedom to protest and my in, in under my constitution unrestricted freedom is not given to anybody i have a right to criticize i have a right to question but not right to abuse and if i do that then my constitution does not allow that kind of freedom so you you want to take you want to give that freedom to salman rushdi but, but you want to take away this freedom from those who want to protest against salman rushdi peacefully because in india they have always protested peacefully so this it, is all it about is, it is i'm sorry so this is all is, about the up elections the media which has turned it into a huge issue about the up why, why elections only the english media is going for it not the hindi media so you because can say it english is not media, a hindi issue media. among the masses this so is a issue of the elite of the intellectuals who I want so to you, turn this into ba uh, Islam bashing, which sir, is happening sir, in is, all over Europe. America is fashionable. Islam sir, bashing is extremely this, fashionable, and therefore it's wonderful. Sir, I'm sorry to say this. Your attempts to drive an artificial cleavage will completely go lopsided. This is not English media, Hindi media, individual, individual, religion versus religion. It's far bigger than this, and the question is very obvious. Has this or does this not freedom have to do with yes, the upcoming Uttar Pradesh elections? You know, when, when, you when. You stand only for freedom of expression of Salman Rushdi. Sir, you remember issues of polarization only on the eve of an election. Issues that divide the country only on the eve of an election. It has nothing to do with elections. It has nothing to do with elections. Who? How many people will Because believe you, this, sir? This was decided. earlier also he came we protested you did not make it into a big issue I, we're i got a number response. of articles when salman rushdi okay. came earlier for india today conclave and for other other reasons we protested but this was not played up the yeah. hype came because of the elections okay. the media is hyping it also because of the elections also blame this on the media convenient very Muslims convenient you are hyping it blame it on the media shahid siddiqui you are also a member of the media let me let me get response sir so, no, so hell said is responding first we also play up i i know minute, we do that all the time i know we do that all the time so, so, shahid siddiqui hear the response you know, hear the other side tonight hear the other side tonight yes or no please, please or no i completely agree shahid siddiqui has every business to protest but the people who are threatening protests under pinned and laced with violence have no business in this society number 1 number 2 absolutely i agree you can't that. threaten state governments with security violations and expect them to cower it's an equal shame that we have a person like ashok gehlot running rajasthan who couldn't control the murder of a of a nurse by a political colleague of his but is quick to you know shy away from providing security to salman rushdi number 3 what kind of india are we trying to project across the world that we do not tolerate an opinion that is entirely not in conformity with us we left mf hussain to die in exile we now prevent salman rushdi from coming this is hooliganism this is not protest if shahid siddiqui and he is absolutely right he has every right to an opinion if shahid siddiqui feels strongly he could have done one of three things number 1 taken salman rushdi to court and let the courts decide whether salman rushdi is welcome or not number 2 they could have created an alternate movement again using literature rather than violence to prove Completely. that point number 3 shahid siddiqui also represents the political class whether shahid siddiqui is talking as a politician or as an author or big journalist is irrelevant it will gain a political color 
which sadly everything in this country is gaining. This is about we are today showing ourselves okay, one minute, one, as a weak, one, uh, one, inept, non-liberal, intolerant India, which is not the image that the youth of Do India doctor, wants Do brand India to the, have. The question tonight, and this is uh, Dr. SQR Elias, I'm just coming to you. Question here tonight, it's about, Dr. Elias wants to go in first. Alka Pandey, I'm coming to you. This is Dr. Elias A. This is about the culture of intimidation. Uh, let me, uh, B, sir. Let me sir, clarify first. Uh, sir, I am not uh, Dr. Qasim Rasul Elias. I am Maksud al Hassan Qasmi from Imam Council. I, I'm so sorry. Yes, coach. Uh, uh, Arnab, I would like to ask the gentleman, Suhel said, uh, the, on the name of freedom, is freedom of speech, freedom of expression. I would like to ask them, would you, how long can you, how long can you go on the name of freedom of speech? Can you have right, Very can right. we have right to abuse someone? Can we have right to insult somebody? Can we have right to humiliation? And you, uh, we are very much, we are very much agree, again, making exile life of M.F. Hussain. M.F. Hussain was told by Prime Minister of India, Indian Prime Minister had gone, when he had gone to UK, he personally had met and pleased, had appealed to him not to come to India, because a lot of cases are pending against him. So, we are, we are asking and we are expecting the same, same step from our, our Prime Minister of India. And same, same, same treatment should be given to Salman so then, Rushdi. So then, we, the, then what the you are saying, Mr. Rajbe, we gave but earlier to M.F. Hussain. Both people, both people have hearted religious sentiments of Islam and Hindu religions. Mr. Asim. And I would ask Indian government, it should debar for Salman Rushdi from the, uh, from PIO, Personal of Indian Origin and Title. So, he should not be given the privilege of PIO. This matter, this per, this person has abused and insulted and has used filthy language against Islam, against Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam companions. How can we bear it? And Suhail, I would like to ask Mr. Suhail, would you be okay if Let someone accuse accuse you or your mother, your father? Your sister, I would, would you be okay? One minute, sir. The question, one minute. So, Sohail said you want to yeah, respond. I want to respond. You, you want to respond to that, but I'll pass that question on to Alka Pandey because my greater concern is it's not about abuse or disabuse. It's about the whole campaign of intimidation. It is about, I will intimidate you to a point where you will be there afraid. No to, this agreement the government is, is getting intimidated. One minute, sir. One minute. There's no intimidation. Because what? for political reasons, Congress government is behaving the way they want to behave. Sir, it's there's no intimidation from anybody. Sir, in True. the same manner in which Pol the government did not, not taken any stand. We have not gone to town. Sir, when, when M.F. Hussain why, was targeted by the force of certain right-wing, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, extremism, at that point of time, many people said that the Indian government has gone soft. It has not been soft enough to take on the people who are targeting MF Hussain. The it's same also. questions of vote bank politics came up at that point of time. Let's not fool ourselves and put ourselves in a vacuum and say all of this is not relevant. I go to Alka all Pandey, have. please, sir. Alka Pandey, can we separate what's happening from the context of the UP elections? What's your take on what's happening? Well, thank you for helping me separate uh, the two. First and foremost, I do think it's at the moment quite not so a relevant issue. All these things had happened more than 20 years ago. Why is it that this issue is being held is being held aloft now. Why are people suddenly making such an issue about this? Salman has been coming to the country many times in the past. He's coming here for a purely literary exercise and as a citizen of the world, as a, as a citizen of origin from a country which believes in a dialogic kind of uh, civilization where we've always had dialogues, why can we not be civilized about this? And I think perhaps this is not a relevant issue at all. Even the countries who had done a fatwa on Rashdi have come to terms and sorted issues in an amicable manner. Why is, my question is, why is this being raised now? 
he's been coming to the country many times he's been in and out of the country many times well what is this whole fracas about all of a sudden